Oh, I've got a thirst on. Water. Lovely, lovely water. Good for you, isn't it? Oh. Hello, boys and girls. How are we? Are you good? Because I'm good. I'm glad you're good as well. We might not be good. You might be in a terrible mood. If that's the case, I'm sorry. Now, before we get into this, just quickly. Now, the last live stream I did a couple of weeks ago, uh, a few of you asked what my PayPal was because you wanted to donate. I don't generally kind of advertise it. I don't really put it out there much. If you want to donate and contribute to the channel, I'll put the email up somewhere. Down at the bottom of the screen. Uh, I'll also put it in the description below. You're not obliged to, you don't have to. Look, you know, it's there if you want it. Because a few of you have asked for it, so I'm putting it up. I've got a right bloody thirst on. I think it's this weather. Right, on to the recipe. So today we're going to do something called a curry, okay? And as you'll guess by the title, it's basically jacked up Indian scrambled eggs. And look, like all dishes from the Indian continent, they're all flipping delicious. They know what they're doing over there, but this idiot is going to make it in his kitchen in sunny old Leicester. So before we dive into it, do the usual thing. Like, share and subscribe. Make sure you've got that grey notification bell on so you get notified of my lovely face when I appear. Let's get these onion pubes off now, might as well. So let's make these scrambled eggs and eat because this is my supper and I'm starving. Now, that's like many dishes, it starts with an onion and a blunt knife. I get a reputation on this channel for having a blunt knife. I do sharpen them. I don't believe you. I just, I don't think I sharpen them enough. <laughs> anyway, don't use a blunt knife, folks, all right? Because it's dangerous. Make sure it's sharp. Now, really for this kind of dish, I'd probably use a red onion, but I haven't got any. And these need using up. <sighs> Hold on a second. My neighbors are about to slam their, there you go, slam their fucking door. Every time they go in and out, bang, bang. Anyway, so we get these peeled. Get rid of all that gubbins. I'm gonna switch this knife, it's pathetic. It's pathetic! I'm just gonna dice the onion up fairly small. Well, this one don't fare much better either. Oh, the hate in the comments. <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna dice this up. Right, onions are in the bowl. I'm not gonna show you everything I'm chopping up and dicing, all right? No one wants to sit here and see that. But I'm gonna chop up this chili and chop it nice and fine. You could have this for any time of the day, really. You can have it for lunch. Have it for breakfast, but I'm kind of having it for my tea. Oh, you're going to be slam the door again, aren't you? There you f go. Why? I only just started doing it. I think they're doing it to piss me off. And it's working. Right, so there's our green chilli. I need to move. That's the green chilli. I've already diced up my tomato. Um, I use little cherry ones because that's all they had in the shop. You basically want two kind of small to medium tomatoes. You know the ones that are kind of, I don't know, that sort of size? No? Uh, have I got anything, any point of reference? Tomatoes, probably a little bit smaller than that. You know the sort, I mean, just your bog standard average tomato. Two of them is what you need. But yeah, chop those up so they're ready to go. I've uh, already measured out my spices, so they're ready to go as well. And the ginger garlic paste, I've got here. I've shown you how to make this many times before. You can use the stuff in the jar, that's fine. But to make it yourself, it's equal quantities of garlic and ginger, finely minced, and then just add a little sort of drop or two of water, probably about a teaspoon, mix it all up, ginger garlic paste. And the fresh stuff is the best. So the next thing I need to do is whisk up the eggs. So I've got six medium free range eggs, obviously free range. Dropped a bit of bleeding shell in there. Where are you? And I am gonna add just a touch of milk. Don't need a lot. Normally I wouldn't do this for scrambled eggs, but it does help with the creaminess. So I'm gonna add it. Give that a whisk. Uh, oh, what I'm also gonna do. Excuse me. Uh, just uh, squeeze in there, sir, sorry. I'm gonna add some black pepper. Put that in there. Do not add salt to your eggs at this stage, okay? I think I've mentioned this before, that salt breaks down egg white, okay? And it turns it liquidy. And in some things you need that but not for this. So you add the salt as it's cooking. Mix that through, get it all nicely beaten. Then apart from chopping the coriander just before it's finished, we're ready to cook. Right, so let's get the pan on. Come on. Whoa, it's exciting, wasn't it? Uh, you want it kind of like a medium-ish heat, maybe medium-low. And I'm going to add some ghee. Now you can use vegetable oil if you want. 
but ghee is just like delicious man and I want about a tablespoon it's gonna be plenty then we're gonna add the onions and basically this is not rocket science we know what to do we need to cook them down so they go nice and translucent but I do want a tiny tiny bit of color on there so I'm gonna cook these down for Look, I know people where they say, oh, five minutes, all right, it's not. It's gonna take longer. It's gonna take like 15 minutes, okay? So I'm gonna tend to these and I'll bring you back in a second. Bye. Okay, so it's been about 15 minutes. Look, you can see, got a nice bit of color on there. Not too much, just, just a little tickle, a little tinge. Next, we're gonna go in with the cumin seeds, just those. And I'm also gonna add about a teaspoon of ginger garlic paste. Here we go. And then literally just for like 30 seconds to a minute, you're just gonna like toast off those cumin seeds, get them nice and fragrant, cook the rawness out of that garlic, and then we will move on to the next bit. So after about a minute, we're gonna add the tomatoes and our dry spices. So the turmeric, the coriander powder, and the chili powder. And what we're looking to do here is basically just to cook those dry spices out. And you kind of wanna cook the tomatoes so they break down a little bit, so they start to go nice and soft but you don't want them like completely mushy and disintegrated, okay? They're just gonna be like these little jewels in the scrambled egg. And also here's a quick little tip for you, is if your mixture looks a little too dry, I mean you don't want it slopping wet, but if it's a bit too dry, just add a little touch of water. Not much, like a tablespoon or two. Uh, what I'm gonna do now is add the chilies. Excuse me, I'll just reach over again, sir. Madam, sorry about that. Get those in. And this is a really crucial step. You wanna turn your hob down to nice and low, because this is like the hardest bit, okay? Because we don't want to overcook the eggs. Speaking of which, in they go. At this stage, you can add your salt. Just a bit of a pinch there. Yeah, touch more. And this is why it's important that it's on low, because this dish is quite, uh, how do I describe it? It's a moist dish, because we still want to set the eggs. We want to cook them all the way through, but we still want to keep them nice and creamy. So on a nice low heat, just continue to stir so you get like a, well, like a porridge consistency, I'd say. Okay, so we are probably about a minute off. You can see how creamy that is. So what I'm gonna do now is add the coriander. Get that in, so a nice generous handful. And in about 30 seconds, this is gonna be done. So all I'm gonna do is just serve this up in a nice bowl. It really, this is enough for like two people. <laughs> like, but I'm hungry. Right, let's break a bit of this off, a bit of this chapati. Now I know I need to kind of dry fry those and make them nice and soft, but, well, my pan's dirty, isn't it? You can do them in the microwave. All right, but I haven't got a microwave. So I'm just eating them like this. Sue me. Anyway, let's dive in. Let's get a nice scoopful of our akuri. Let's go in. Of course it's good. It's like this silky smooth, creamy egg. And it's spicy, but not too hot. Okay, it's gonna, if you have this for breakfast, it's gonna pep you up. It's a really nice way to eat scrambled eggs. Like I said, there's enough for two people here, easy. All right, three eggs a piece, and you've got yourself a cracking lunch. Mm. Cracking eggs, cracking. <sighs> Full of jokes, mate. I am starting to sweat a little bit though. I may have put a bit too much chilli in there. So there we go, that's how you make a curry. It's also sometimes spelled A-K-O-O-R-I. But I've gone with this today. And if you know the difference between the two spellings, let me know, because I'd like to know why. A simple little dish to make, and it doesn't require a ton of spices. Anyway, enough of me waffling on. I'm gonna love and leave you. But before I go, please do the usual thing, like, share and subscribe. And of course, leave a comment down below. But I'm going to love and leave you. I'll see your gorgeous faces in the next video. And ta-ta for now.